So I've been talking to a mentor of mine who makes around $13 million per year and he was walking me through why my agency wasn't growing as fast as I wanted it to grow. And I actually came into the call thinking it was some tactic, you know, I wasn't setting the right script, I wasn't doing the right outreach, I needed more setters. But the advice that he gave me on how to scale my agency was completely different from what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to share everything that he told me on exactly how I can scale my agency. And this was actually the exact advice that I applied probably around 10% of what I should have a couple of years ago. And it's what allowed me to build two $50,000 per month agencies. It's what's allowed me to work with over 70 clients. It's what allowed me to work in over 42 different industries and generate over 3.2 million in client revenue. It's also what's got me to the point where I've recorded modules inside of some of the biggest courses that you know inside of Charlie Morgan's program also coaching inside of Eman's program and genuinely if I applied this information more and sooner I would be making 10 times what I'm making right now so the first reason why your agency isn't growing right now is because your personal life is a mess and I want to tell you a quick story from when I was running my agency a couple of years ago and at this point I was probably making around 10 to 20 thousand per month and the reason I say 10 to 20 is because it used to vary so much and if you don't know already I used to run a lead generation agency so I was helping marketing agencies to get more clients by booking meetings for them, helping them with sales, all of that. And I remember a time specifically when it was a Friday, you know, I actually just closed a deal. I think it was our biggest month at the time. We hit around 20, 25,000 per month. And at this time, it was around 7 p.m. I was just laying around, I was, you know, just sitting on my phone, to be honest. And up until this point, I was completely dialed in with my routine, right? I slept at the same time every day. I didn't have Instagram. I didn't have social media. I didn't have anything. I pretty much just locked myself in a room until I got to 25K per month. And at this time, I was laying down on the couch. I was like, you know, I had a great week. What I can do is I'll just re-download Instagram for a second and just, you know, see what's happening. And so I did that. And as you can imagine, I re-downloaded. I saw all these things happening. Dopamine went crazy. And I'm watching reels for like three hours. And you know how you feel when you're watching reels. It's like nothing, nothing good comes from that. So now it's like 8 p.m. And I'm like, oh, I didn't eat dinner yet. So I decided to get something to eat. And obviously, when you're in that state, it's like you're not going to pick the healthy option. So instead of getting like the stand like chicken breast or steak I ended up getting pizza and it's like okay you eat the pizza and you don't feel great after that so now it's like 9 10 p.m and you just feel even worse so then it's like you keep scrolling reels and end up getting to the point where it's like 1 2 a.m and it's like okay now you decide to go to sleep and then you wake up and if you slept at like 2 a.m it's like I didn't want to wake up at 7 like usual so I ended up sleeping in checked my phone first thing in the morning started talking to some girls whatever I just wasted a ton of time and what happened was after going to this high of signing, you know, more clients than I've ever had, making more money than I've ever made, it's like I just completely shot myself back down in that I messed up my routine. This went on for like a couple of weeks where I was just like on my phone. I was kind of like justifying it like, oh, if I'm on my phone, then I can reply to leads. It didn't even happen. I didn't even get leads from Instagram. And because of that, over those two weeks, I ended up regressing in terms of progress. Like I wasn't putting as much time as I wanted to for the clients. I wasn't reporting. I wasn't checking in with the team. And because of that, you know, the results went down. Some clients actually left. I think one of them even asked for a refund and then the revenue dropped. So the point that I'm making with the story is that it wasn't the business. It wasn't my lack of knowledge that caused my revenue to go back down and clients asking for refunds. It is actually my routine and more specifically the personal life in general. So that includes the sleep, the diet, the focus, all of that. So what I would say is if your agency isn't growing, it's most likely because your personal life isn't in order, right? If you're not sleeping at the same time every night, it's a problem. The same as if your diet isn't consistent. If you're eating, you know, random meals at random times, sometimes you're missing meals, sometimes you're ordering Uber Eats, like it's a problem, right? And because of this, if your sleep isn't dulled and if your diet isn't dulled and you're eating processed food, it's like you're not gonna be able to focus. And if you can't focus, you're not gonna be able to do the work that's required to get your client's results. So the first thing that you can do to improve your entire business is actually just get your routine in order. And most importantly, if you can just dial in your sleep and your diet, everything else becomes easier. Now that leads on to the next point, which is most people have no focus. The reason that when I first started the agency, I completely deleted Instagram, social media. I didn't even check my phone. I think my screen time on average was like 25 minutes per day when I was really building it. And it's purely because when you're in a state where you're constantly watching these reels, these TikToks, these YouTube videos, your focus just dissipates. And I remember this specifically when I realized I had no focus, you know, after being in this periods where it's you know it's really bad in terms of routine i couldn't go from like one room to the other room or even to just go to the bathroom without having like stimulation so i had to have like music playing or even a podcast playing while i was doing the most basic things like even showering like i, I couldn't not have music playing and that becomes a problem where it's like okay while you're doing that okay understandable but then you try to go to work and then five minutes in you're checking youtube Five minutes in, you're checking Instagram. Five minutes, it's like, oh, I need to uh, get some water or something. You just make up things to do. So if you have no focus, then you can't do the things that's required to get 
obviously your goal, which is, you know, building processes, hiring team members or creating content. So the best thing that you can do to get your focus back is to honestly just train it. Like focus is a muscle. So when you're working, have no distractions. I actually have like extensions that completely block YouTube, completely block everything. And by doing that, I can literally just do the work. And the same is with the phone. I keep my phone on airplane mode in another room the whole day, just so that I can do the work. And as you start doing the work more, you actually build this focus muscle where you can actually you know, focus for longer periods of time. And the longer you can focus, it's like a direct correlation between how much focus you have and how much you know, enjoyment and success you have in business. Now at this point, if you have your routine dialed in, your diet sorted and you have focus, now it's just a matter of putting that focus into something useful. And that's the business. Now, if your agency isn't growing right now and you have these two things, it's because your business is a mess. And I'm not saying this from a point of like, oh, my business is perfect, like 100%. I was in the same situation where there was like documents all over the place. There was no processes. I didn't know what team members were doing. I didn't even know if they were online. Like all these things, it was just chaos, right? Client delivery stuff all over the place. And when I speak to some of my clients inside of the one-on-one -on -one program that we have, this is what I notice a lot, right? They have all these things that need to be done. They have five, 10, 15 clients, but there's no clear process to actually get results for these clients. There's no clear process on how to onboard. There's no clear process on how to actually support them. So because of this, it keeps them in the day-to-day, -day, right? Think about that. And because they have no processes, no systems, anything like that, it actually keeps them in the day-to-day. -day. So this was the same situation for me. Because I didn't have systems, I didn't have clear documentation, I didn't have clear processes. Like, and when I say this, I mean literally Google Docs writing out exactly how to do a task, like step-by-step -step checklist, so that a team member can follow it. Because I didn't have that, it kept me involved in everything. And because I'm involved in everything, you know, things, <laughs> things are chaotic because I only have so much attention, so things start getting missed. So genuinely, in terms of practical advice that you can take right now to clean up your business, honestly, like the simplest things, if you have a Google Drive and you store everything in there, literally just clean that up. Like you should have clear folders for everything that you do. Everything should be neat and organized. The same with your communication. If you're using something like Slack, like WhatsApp, get everything in one place. Don't have clients sending you emails, some sending you messages on LinkedIn, some on Instagram. Get it all in one centralized location. The same with all your client stuff, whether that's client information, onboarding forms, all of that. If you can just keep it in one location, for example, if you use Notion, we've used this in the past, you can literally just store all of your client data in one place. So if you or your team wants to find something, whether that's an onboarding form, whether that's data tracking, all this stuff, you can just go there and it's super simple. If you're using like Google Drive, just make a client folder and put everything there and just spend an hour just organizing everything in your business. And the best way to organize and clean stuff is honestly just to remove as much as you can. If something isn't necessary, genuinely just get rid of it. And I promise you, it's, it's almost like when you have something neat and something tidy, it's like you actually want to do the thing. You actually want to use it. For example, if you've been working on some like old Windows laptop from like 2001 and it's like big and clunky it's like you don't want to do the work but if you buy like a brand new macbook pro 14 inch it's fantastic unlimited storage all this stuff it's like man you're gonna want to work all day just to use the thing so if you can create your business in a way where it's enjoyable it's actually like fun to use the business to actually work on it then you're gonna do it more often. And then finally, the fourth reason on why your agency isn't growing is because you're the bottleneck in your delivery. And this is probably one of the biggest things that we solve for our clients right now is because our clients, they typically come to us, not when they're a complete beginner, we have many of them and some of them have gone from like zero to 10K in like 60 days. But the main clients that we help are people who already have clients. So for example, you may have signed three, five, 10, even 20 clients. And you kind of know how to sign clients, you kind of know how to deliver, but it's not systemized. And they're also still involved in the day-to-day. -day. Like they're involved in onboarding, support, all of that. And what we do is we help them to decentralize themselves. So what that means is that every single thing that needs to be done can be done by someone else. We help them to get systems in place, we help them to get team in place, and just automate whatever they can. So. If your agency isn't growing and you have these other things in place, your business is clean, your routine is dialed in, your focus is there, it just means that you're applying all of this focus to work that you don't have to be doing, right? If you figured out how to do the thing in your business, like you figured out how to onboard a client, book a meeting, sign a client, if you figured out how to do it, it means that you can teach someone else to do it. And if you can teach someone else to do it, it means you can get out of it. So if you're at the stage where you have clients on board, but you're just stuck in the delivery, you're stuck in support, admin, all these things, and you just can't find a way to get out. And you know how to sign clients, you know how to sell, but when you do sign clients, you have more work to do, so you can't spend that time signing clients, and then your revenue drops again. If you're at this stage, then the only thing that you need is to decentralize yourself. And if you want help with that, my team and I are happy to walk you through how we do it on our side. You can just book a call using the link below, 
and then we'll literally just walk you through our system. So it'll be pretty straightforward. You can copy and paste it if you want. And I'll be completely honest, if you want to work with us after that, you can, but you don't have to, and you can genuinely get enough value from that call to just do it yourself, get out of the day today. So focus on your personal life, get better focus, clean up your business, and then get yourself out of the day today.